Hi, welcome to this video on file name expansions in the Linux shell. Um, we can call these file name expansions, or you sometimes also see uh, us referring to wildcards. Um, so they're basically the same thing. The idea with this is that you can um, select many files at the same time. Um, instead of selecting a file or a directory using its explicit name, using every single letter that's in the name, um, we can add sort of uh, catch-all symbols that will uh, match up with more than one file or directory. So I'll show you how that's going to work. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do over here is I'm going to uh, use touch to create a bunch of new empty files that uh, have nothing in them. So I'm going to do something like bat, bet, bit, bot, and I'm also going to throw in maybe boat, and maybe both, and anything else, maybe bath, I'll throw in there. Okay, so I'm going to do those. I have this symbol over here. So what this is doing basically is I've got two commands that I'm typing in. Uh, before I've pressed enter. The first one is touch. I'm going to be creating a bunch of files. If this command succeeds, then I'm basically telling the shell that um, as soon as that command succeeds and there's no failures, I want to execute the second command, which is just to list the files that you see. Okay? So there we go. This is what I've got in my directory now. I've got bat, bath, bet, bit, boat, but in both. So one of the first things I want to show you just to see how this works is I'm going to use ls-l and um, instead of just listing all the contents in my current location what I'm going to do is point it at a specific file. So for example I want it to match up with these three letters BAT explicitly B nothing else, explicitly A and explicitly T, right? I hit that and you're going to be able to see some information about this file called BAT, uh, created by Eric on September 8th to 49 p.m. There's the permission levels, you know, basic information, right? So I'm going to use that and instead of explicitly looking for the letters B the letters A and the letter T, I'm going to be looking for the letter B, any character, and then the letter T. Okay? So what you're going to see is this is going to be matching up with any character, any single character. So let's do that. I'm going to hit enter. What we get back is bat, bet, bit, and bot. So the question mark is successfully matching with the letters A, I, E, and O. What you'll notice that we're not matching up with is boat or both, right? Because I'm explicitly saying it has to be three letters long. It has to start with the letter B and it has to end with the letter T. So it's not going to accept anything that's uh, more than three characters long. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be clearing and I'll just do ls again. So, once again, here's the contents of my directory, right? Now, instead of doing something like this, ls-l and doing that, which, you remember, this is going to be matching with any single character. So, any letters, numbers, any symbols, anything like that, it's going to match up. Um, but let's say that I only want to match up with, uh, let's say, the letters A or the letter O. Okay? We're going to be matching again with a single character, and I want that character to, character to be either A or O. Okay? So when we get into this situation, we're not going to be using a question mark. What we're going to be using is square brackets. And in the square brackets, we're going to be giving all the possible um, letters that we want to be able to match up with, right? So I'm going to do O and I'm going to do A. It doesn't matter. I could do A and I could do O. I'll do something like that. And we're going to see what this matches with, okay? 
So as you can see, with this, I'm able to select bat and bot. The one thing it didn't match with is boat, okay? Um, this seems to be a, a mistake that a lot of students make the first time they're playing with this is square brackets, assuming that square brackets is going to be matched with more characters than one. It's not. This is going to be matching with only a single character. So boat will never be selected in this situation. We're still only matching with three characters. Okay, so with that in mind, the next thing I'm going to do is repeat this. Um, but I'm going to show you a way to invert this matching. So instead of matching with the letter B, the letter A or O, and the letter T, I want to be matching with the letter B and any letter, any character, I should say character because it can be numbers as well, um, any character that is not an A or an O. Okay, so this is inverting whatever is in the square brackets. Um, in this case, I do not want to be matching with bat or bot, uh, but I do want to be matching with any three character file name uh, that doesn't have those letters in it. So let's see how that looks. So this time we get bet and we get bit. And like I say, this is going to be matching with numbers, characters, basically any any symbol that you can use to name a file, it's going to be matching with. Just as long as it's not A or O. So one thing to keep in mind, um, inside inside my selection here, um, I can put in individual characters that I'm searching for. I can put in numbers and all kinds of things like this. Um, I can also put in ranges. So I can do this. Uh, I can say that I'm only interested in getting letters from A to Z. And keep in mind, this is not, this would be selecting any uppercase or lowercase letter. But let's say I'm just interested in lowercase letters, right? So that's going to give that output. Okay, so we've talked about using question marks uh, to match up with a single character. Uh, we've talked about using square brackets to select um, a single character and specify what it should be or what it shouldn't be. Um, what I'm going to do now to show you the next symbol that we need to talk about, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to RM star. And what you'll see when we look inside here is nothing's inside. So by doing RM and star, I basically selected all these files here and I deleted all the files. This is the symbol that we're going to be talking about, obviously. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch some new stuff. I'm going to touch F. I'm going to touch F and foo and maybe foot and maybe footprint. Okay. And once we do that, I just want to LS what I've got. Okay. So first thing you notice when I'm using LS is the first thing that we saw here, the dot F doesn't show up. That's because any file or directory that has the period at the beginning of it is going to be considered hidden. If I want to take a look at all the hidden files and non-hidden files, I can use um, the option dash A. The dash A is going to mean that I'm interested in seeing all files in all directories, not just the visible ones. Okay. When I do this, you're going to see symbols for our current location, our parent location, the hidden file that I created, and everything else. Okay, so we should probably talk about this character and what it actually means. Um, the asterisk, the star symbol, is going, going to be matching with um, zero to many of any character. Okay, so it can be zero characters and it can be hundreds of characters and it's basically anything, alphabet letters, uppercase, lowercase, numbers, symbols, everything. Okay. Um, by default, the one thing it doesn't match with is 
hidden files or hidden directories. So that's something to keep in mind. What you see here is um, basically the same thing as outputting just ls, right? Let me change this a little bit. I'm going to do ls. I'm going to add an f and then a star at the beginning. So we want to be matching with anything that explicitly starts with the letter f. Anything past that letter f, we don't care about. It could be nothing. It could be one or two or three or four or hundreds of characters. So you're going to see what that looks like. I'm matching up with f. So it's matching up with zero characters here. It's matching with two characters, which both happen to be O's. It's also matching with three characters O over here and many more characters over here. All right. I could also do something like this. I could do F star T. And you'll see what this matches up with. So in this case, we are excluding the F because we're basically saying, I don't care what is between the F and the T, but the F has to be there and the T has to be there. I'm matching with any character that, any file, sorry, or directory that starts with an F and ends with a T. So we have foot and footprint. It's matching with the F and the T, the F and the T. Okay. So what are the applications for this little uh, file expansion trick that we've got? Well, there's a couple of things. Um, you've been seeing me using it with the ls command. That just displays it. Um, but let's say I could also do something like I'm going to move and I want to move anything that begins with an F and ends with a T. And where I'm moving it is my parent directory. So I can do that. What you're going to see over here is that Oh, a couple of my uh, files are missing, like foot and footprint. If I go and take a look over here, let's take a look. You're going to see that I probably have foot and footprint over here. Um, another way that this is useful is, let's say that I, I'm in a directory and I'm only interested in looking at JPEGs. So now you see anything that begins with any characters just as long as it ends with this pattern dot jpg anything that has a dot jpg at the end of it we're going to be able to see it uh, similarly let's take a look at what we've got if i'm going to do lecture and i'm going to say that it has to have a number in it um, so it has to have these characters l e c t u r e some sort of number in between that I don't really care but then it also must end with a dot MD so MD being uh, markdown so we can look at all the markdown files that I've got just as long as it's got that lecture and a number and you can see there's a bunch of different things that it's matching it's matching with some letters it's also matching with no more letters okay and it's matching with many letters so this is a very useful way of organizing things and selecting things and removing things and um, just generally you know being more efficient on the terminal and one last thing to keep in mind that I kind of forgot to mention before if we go back in here and I'm going to do a situation where I'm going to delete a bunch of things so let's delete anything that begins with F and continues on with there um, you'll notice I'm going to be when I run this I have deleted more than one file and it works the same with directories but I didn't have to specify a dash R I didn't have to make it recursive just something to keep in mind for midterms and tests and stuff like that